All right, charging. Nick, what? Yeah. What? What? What, what? What are your? What? What? Charging? I brought this up. I think I brought this up last time. And the, I think the response was they're developing like a snake charger, a robotic snake charger, but those haven't been rolled out. So do you think in the 8A presentation, we get some development on the charging front or are they just going to put charging attendants at these locations so that cars can come in and charge themselves? Yeah, I mean, they have the supercharger network now, so you can imagine that they don't necessarily, at least to start the network, they don't have to build out infrastructure. Um, certainly longer term, it seems like maybe the way that a personal driver charges will be different than a fleet. So you, you could change that infrastructure or the way that they choose to build it out incrementally now could look different. Um, well, they need the yeah. infrastructure to connect the actual charger to the car if there's no one there to do that for them. Well, well, I'm I'm actually talking about just the just the charging piece itself because that's that's important too, right? So I, I think yeah, they could in the short term have attendants that charge the vehicles. Um, so. Yeah, I, I would just add they've also invested in some wireless charging companies, and you can say you know one of the downsides of wireless charging has been efficiency, um, but if it is for autonomous and it's at scale you might not be as worried about fast charging if it's during downtimes. could be a fun test case for the optimus team to try and tackle as well mm -hmm. um and then exactly what tasha said where it's like if you're going to start just put a person there okay nick are you are you bought in what uh, what, else? what else i need to see the eight eight announcement because I, I think there are I, I, I'm bought into the long-term vision I believe that this is going to happen just time wise and you know these little hurdles and bumps in the beginning may not seem like you know you can overcome them but you still need to do that in the beginning and to roll it out and then also to attract enough users directly to an app that gets more into the you know direct to consumer services business, which is a nightmare in and of itself. So you know there's a lot of things to consider more on the short term in how they roll it out, and that's why I'm very curious to hear how they approach it on in August.